We've made a short video on turf renovation. Um, ideally, it would, it would begin mid-August, but I know some of you have football season starting in a couple of weeks. Uh, environmental conditions aren't right for renovation right now, but some of you may have to take the following information that we've put out and use it now to get ready for the football season. We hope you find the information helpful. Hi, this is Pam Sherritt from Ohio State. I'm going to talk a little bit about renovations um, the end of this summer and early fall. Many turf areas in Ohio right now are looking like this. This is perennial ryegrass that's died in the heat and the drought of summer 2012. It's too hot to do anything right now for the rest of July. It's not a great time for renovation. <clears throat> it's too hot, too dry to get seed established. But August isn't that far away. Looking ahead to August, we need to be thinking about what we do with these areas. And the first thing we need to do is obviously um, when the time comes, we need to get rid of a lot of this material. So we need to be getting um, hard rakes in here, scarifiers, verticutters, uh, anything we can to get rid of this debris because seed will not establish on top of all this dead organic material. So we need to try and scratch away at that, get all that debris removed and then look to um, renting some kind of equipment that will slit seed or core these areas so that we can get seed established. There are a couple of pieces of equipment that you can use for renovation in the fall. This is a plugger or a core aerator. It has these tines on the bottom that will pull cores out of the soil, help to relieve some compaction, open up for uh, water infiltration, help for seed establishment, get some oxygen down into the roots of the turf. This is a slit seeder. It's a piece of equipment that can easily again be rented. Uh, you put your seed in here, in this hopper at the front and there's a blades underneath that create slits and drop the seed into. Um, this is the kind of effect that you get from core aeration. When you run these pluggers over it will bring up these cores on the surface of the grass and produce these holes that are uh, three, four, five inches deep. Looks like this is about two and a half, two inches maybe. Um, but this will help to uh, these, these cores will just break down and dissolve over a couple of weeks when we get rain. Uh, the seed that you put down will drop into those holes. These two pieces of equipment can be used together. Uh, they both can be rented um, and used together to create a decent seed bed so that you can seed, put seed out effectively. The final piece to the renovation process is fertilizer and water. Um, We've talked about scratching away all the dead organic material from the surface. Then you'd use an aerator, a slit seeder or both to create the seed bed and to get the seed into the soil. And then you would top dress that at the same time that you seed with some kind of fertilizer, whether it's organic or synthetic organic, um, but some kind of fertilizer to promote establishment and, and growth. And then uh, water is essential. Um, Seed needs to be watered for uh, at least the time that it takes to germinate. That seed has to be kept in a constant state of moisture. So with tall fescue, that's about a week. Perennial ryegrass, about a week. That might be as much as two to three weeks with bluegrass. Um, so you have to keep water on it any way possible. Sprinkler, rain train, water cannon. Uh, if you're lucky enough to have an in-ground irrigation system, um, two or three times a day, keep that seed moist so that it germinates uh, as quickly as possible then you can back off the watering some. But that's pretty much it for the renovation process. And hopefully in relation to water, uh, we get rain. And that is one of the reasons we do a lot of renovation in the fall is because we've got more timely rains, more chance of rain than we do in the summer. So there you are, the renovation process. Remove the organic material, get the seed in the soil, keep it watered until it germinates, uh, get some fertilizer down to promote establishment and growth. And hopefully that will help to recover some of these dead areas that we have uh, this summer due to the drought and the heat.